Publishing in 1999 in response to uh, what happened to my dog Annie. Annie lost a front leg to cancer and I thought it would be a great idea to write a little story about recovery and hope um, for kids and so I wrote a little book called Annie Loses Her Leg But Finds Her Way and followed quickly by Max's Wild Goose Chase. Um, these were both published by my own company, Chagrin River Publishing, that's celebrating its 10th year in business this year. Annie Loses Her Leg But Finds Her Way, the first in the Max and Annie series, written by Sandra Phillipson and illustrated by Robert Tackett, received so much recognition that eventually it was turned into a film, Miracle Dogs. Produced by Tag Family Entertainment of Hollywood and starring the real-life characters Phillipson's dogs, Max and Annie, it premiered in Cleveland in December of 2002. As of 2009, Miracle Dogs was still being aired on Animal Planet and other various cable channels. Chagrin River Publishing aims to be responsive to the voices of kids, teachers, parents, and children's librarians. Um, every book that we've produced has um, a whole section in the back uh, encouraging literacy, encouraging writing, uh, also even encouraging singing and the, and the rest of the arts. Uh, so we, we try to be the voice of kids. A Maxwell dog of Chagrin Falls In the woods I'm the king of it all The first four books of the Max and Annie series were illustrated by a wonderful artist named Robert Tackage, who lived in here in Chagrin Falls and was ahead of the art community here. He did a beautiful job with the first four books, but by 2005 we had lost both Robert Tackage and Annie, and so we had to move on and find another wonderful uh, illustrator to draw these terrific well, Sandy and I met, actually, we'd seen each other around town, because we live in the same town, and she knew what I did, and I sort of knew what she did, but we never actually met. And then we ran into each other at Starbucks in 2005, and actually introduced ourselves to each other. And that's sort of how it all began. She had a new manuscript, and uh, I had also known Robert Tackage, so I knew that he had passed away. And so the two of us um, entered into a little partnership and started working on Max's Rules together. And uh, that's how it all sort of started. A big part of the um, mission of our company and also of our books is to bring our literacy programs into the schools. So I have done about 340 schools and Jenny has done a significant number as well, probably over 100, mm -hmm. and we work together to team teach and to bring both the literacy part and the visual literacy to grade school kids, usually kindergarten to fourth mm -hmm. grade. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a really nice project that we do together because we have this very cool sort of dog and pony show that we do together. And, uh, it, mostly, and it's dog. A, mostly dog. Mostly <laughs> dog. We haven't brought any ponies in yet. Not yet. We're, we're working on that. 
The Max and Annie books aren't just quality children's books. They are charming and original literacy adventures that enhance children's creativity, writing, and reading skills through wonderful storytelling and illustrations. The Max and Annie books, complemented with one of Miss Phillipson's educational programs, provides children a unique and invaluable learning experience. Going into schools and working with children from all backgrounds, Miss Phillipson spends hours with kids teaching them about writing and creativity, using her books as well as her own vast education in reading and literacy. Approximately 200,000 children have participated in these programs. The responses from children, teachers, media specialists, and parents has been overwhelmingly positive. The time and effort these students put into the preparation of Miss Phillipson's visits are incredible and touching and it's evident by their overwhelming enthusiasm that Miss Phillipson, her dogs, and the Max and Annie books excel in making a difference in children's lives. Tack is a beautiful dog who is incredibly lovable and friendly. He's the good boy of the bunch, never getting into any trouble, and always trying to be perfect. Tack is the most dapper of dogs you could ever meet. Trini was adopted from English Springer Spaniel Rescue in honor of Annie. Despite being a congenital amputee, she is very active and loves to play. She has such great courage and spirit and undoubtedly walks in the footsteps of Annie, who is also lively and loving. Ollie is the newest member of the family and also the most feisty. He has an overactive imagination, finding fault and fear with most household objects seeming to harm any of those he loves. Ollie is fiercely loyal and perfectly lovable. Ollie's Monsters and Other Stories is the seventh book in the Max and Annie series and is scheduled to come out by Christmas 2009. In this wonderful new addition to the Max and Annie series, readers will enter Ollie's wild imagination, where he sees the most ordinary of household objects as terrifying monsters lurking in every corner of the house, yard, and schools where he lives, plays, and visits. After battling imaginary monsters, readers join the rest of the canine crew to help Trini overcome her worries, watch Tack save a trapped sibling, and listen to Max provide helpful advice on planning successful escapes from school. Complete with wonderfully animated illustrations, this newest book from Chagrin River Publishing will make you laugh and encourage you to use your imagination.